Hello, welcome back to episode 42 of the non leader Legend Save. Uh, if you saw the, uh, the the last episode, the bonus episode, episode 41, you all know that we got turned down for the Chelsea job. Uh, so we're, we're still here with Southampton. Um, as part of the transfer merry-go-round, or the manager merry-go-round, the Juventus job is available on the back of the uh, the Paris Saint-Germain coming of job coming available uh, so the Paris Saint-Germain manager went to the Chelsea um, Juventus manager went to PSG um, so I'm in tomb I don't I don't want to apply for it to be completely honest I'd quite like before I went abroad I would like to win the Premier League to be completely honest so uh, I think for now we're going to be staying with Southampton but let's give you a little catch up so in that episode we played Everton 1-3-1 Good result. We then played Aston Aston Villa in the FA Cup. Beat them pretty comfortably, as you'd uh, as you'd imagine. We then played Brentford at home, and I played that game a few minutes ago. And um, well, that was that was pretty frustrating. One nil up, one all, two one up, two all, and then they ended up nicking it. We were poor. We didn't create anything. And um, yeah, it was all them. They haven't got a bad side. They've got Andre Gomez from Barcelona. Um, but yeah, not a bad side. So today we're going to bring you uh, Hull at home and Man City away. And um, if our form's anything to go by, we will lose to Hull and we will beat Man City. But um, let's, let's just see. So let's have a little look at the uh, Premier League. I can see that we've actually dropped down a position, um, which is... A little bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world. I wouldn't actually mind not making Europe this year, just so we can strengthen for another year and then maybe push on for for Champions League maybe next season. But I think we're maybe getting ahead of ourselves a little bit there. So we've got a game in hand. If we uh, if we win today, we will go back into into fifth spot. So we've got the game today against Hull. I haven't done my lineup yet. But it's not going to be changing too much. Uh, Chrissy Chalk has just signed a new contract with us. He'll be playing. And I think we're pretty much good to go. I'm just going to double check. No one else here. No, I've got Gary Worthington stays where he is. That'll do. And um, let's get into this game. And I, well, I fully expect a comfortable win. Whether or not we'll get it is another thing. Um, especially after that Brentford game, but I want um, I want a bit of a, a reaction from the boys. Um, okay, they didn't mind that. Right, here we go. Got to put these to the sword. Don't even know where they are in the league, to be completely honest. Right, highlight. How clear the ball away. Tisserand wins the header. Chalk misses his. But Tedeschi picks up on it. Is he going to run at his man? Looks like he is. Decent cross to Groot. 1-0. Seven minutes in. And I tell you what, for a, a man of the Groot size, he's not the he's not the biggest. He's just a good player. He um he does sneak in and, and win a lot of headers at the at the front post. So hats off to him. That's a great cross though. De Groot gets up and challenges both centre halves and, and beats them both. Here we go, throw down this right hand side. William finds chalk. William gets it back. Decent left foot cross. De Groot with another header. I mean, I don't I don't know how tall the lad is. I really don't. But I mean he's five foot eleven. He's not he's not tiny. But um against these big command and powerful centre halves, you wouldn't think he stood a chance. But it's the one two from the throw in. A decent ball with his weak foot from William. And De Groot gets up well. Poor defending, really, but a good header, nevertheless. Another highlight. They're coming thick and fast. Luke Shaw, who, who's been really good for us. Excellent average rating for us. And he stayed fit, fingers crossed. So, um, happy days. But De Groot gets challenged in there and then stands still for about 10 seconds. As Hull get possession of the ball, clear it away, but we're going to pick it up again. Bowen into Chrissy Chalk. What's he going to do? He's found a ball to Tedeschi. Can he? Oh, he does that so, so often. Can we get a corner out of it? 
one by the whole defence, but Tisserand shows his pace and gets on the end of it. Uh, end of highlight. Here we go. 27 minutes gone. Hull pump one forward. I think they're running out of ideas a little bit. Tisserand picks up on it quite easily. Camargo, Bowen, Chalk into the feet of Grizic, who's going to run at the defence. What can he do? Is he a bit lost? No, that's a decent cross. Tadeshi, unlucky. Highlight, 35 minutes in. Camargo finds the fullback, William, into Chalk. Parsons not been great. I have been tempted to put uh, Xhaka back in the team, I'm not going to lie. But he's just signed a new contract, Chrissy Chalk, so um, let's give him a chance. You never know, he could turn into the player we want him to. But Hull, bring it forward here. Bowen shoots and uh, should have done a lot better there. He, he probably should have crossed the ball. Couple minutes to half time. We're well in charge. They've had two shots, one on target. I mean, possession, they're, they're definitely holding their own. But we've uh, we've certainly been in charge. So uh, it's going to be a relatively easy half-time team talk. And hopefully we can come out in the second half, not concede any silly goals. And, uh, and we can go and put the game to bed. So, so go and have a word. I certainly don't want to send them out without saying anything. So let's just go passionate. Very pleased. Keep it up. Send them back out there with boosted morale. And uh, like I say, hopefully not concede and, and go and get a third. Here we go. First highlight of the half. Five minutes in. We've got the ball so far. Bowen plays it down the left. Finds Gomez. He finds the Gru who finds the post. Unlucky though, he's doing ever so well with them them front post darts to the front post. Highlight, it's a whole corner. Lofted away from Camargo. But Hull have still got the ball here. And that's well won. The group comes away. What can he do? Oh dear, oh dear. And this is going to be a Hull attack then, isn't it? Or is it? Or is this just going to be a little bit end to end? Come away with it again. Go on, Chrissy Chalk. Finds Grizic. Plays it through to Groot. Good control. Now bears down on goal. And that's a penalty. I didn't see much of anything there. But it looks like they're possibly going to have a man sent as well. You got to feel a little bit sorry for him there. Because uh, I would have been a little bit upset conceding that penalty. De Groot. He never puts them right in the corner. But... He scores, and um, that's his hat-trick. So, uh, happy days. I think that's actually the group's first hat-trick for us. So, um, yeah, happy about that. He's been a good sign, and £24 million a lot of money, but he's certainly gone a long way to repaying that. Right, 20 minutes left. We're going to make a change. Um, William's been booked, but we're going to leave him. We haven't got any uh, any replacement for him. Um, I mean, it's a tough one, really. Just get Grizic off, Callum Grubb, and see if he can just pick up that match fitness after his uh, after injury. And then um, that'll do for now. And then my plan is to take De Groot off. He's got his hat-trick. He'll get his round of applause, and it gives Stuart a little bit of a run out as well. Here we go. Highlight. Luke Shaw plays it back to De Groot. Don't know why he's not in the box. Gomez picks up on the clearance. What can he do? Finds Bowen. Plays it out to the left back. Well played. Go on, beat your man. That's a great cross. Tadeshi. I tell you, he's really good in the air, that Tadeshi, which is so handy with some of the crosses that we, we put in the box. But let's get this uh, let's get this second substitution underway. Yep, the group comes off. Martin Stewart comes on. He should get his uh, his round of applause. Which is very well deserved. Here we go. Just a couple of minutes left on the clock. Got a highlight. Good tackle on Bowen there, but we come away with it again. Chrissy Chalk. That see, that's a that's a nothing ball. You do that against the big teams, and they, they'll put you to the sword, and they'll they'll go up the other end and score. You can't say that's poor as well. Come on, I can't be dealing with passing like that. Brown, Mangala, plays it through to Bowen, who finds Brown, headers, and that's safe hands from Bates. I'd like to keep a clean sheet here, 
Uh, but as we enter the last minute, we're just going to make a change. Chrissy Chalk, he got sent off uh, not so long ago, so he's on a yellow. We're going to bring him off. And hopefully we can see out these last three minutes. And looks like we are. Referee, that'll do ya. There we go. Or is it time for a last minute attack? You never know. Gomez has got it on the left. Tries to play it inside to shore and uh, the ball goes astray. And there goes the final whistle. 3 0. Professional. Comfortable. Very happy. And um, we've got an away game against Man City now. And, uh, and let's hope we don't get embarrassed. That's all I hope for. De Groot definitely needs praise and superb in front of goal. He loved it. Let's get on to this Man City game. Right, here we go. It's a big game away at Man City. They played two games ago. Uh, two, two games. Two days ago uh, against Brighton in the FA Cup. Uh, they won very convincingly. I think it was 4-0. Um, but I'm just thinking maybe tired legs. Um, so hopefully that makes a difference. Um, Chrissy Chalk's coming off. We're going we're gonna to start Granite Xhaka. I don't know why that just that just came to me. I think Chrissy Chalk has just not been as good recently. Um, but we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, but other than that, I should imagine we are good to go with the with the same side. Yep, we certainly are. So here we go. The Etihad away from home. We've switched to counter. At least I believe we have. And uh, yeah, they haven't got a bad side at all. Um, but you never know. I think I, I think we've beaten them before. Did we beat them? I think we beat them at home. Um, but this is uh, an altogether different task to go to their place and uh, and win. So fingers crossed. I just hope if we get beat, it's not embarrassing. Don't want to be conceding four or five really, unless we're going to score five or six. Right, 20 minutes in. Man City have, in the last five minutes, had three shots, two on target. But other than that, it's we haven't had a, a single highlight. Otherwise, uh, I'd have certainly brought it to you. But I, don't, I wouldn't mind if it stayed like this for the rest of the game. Here we go, first highlight, 36 minutes in. The ball starts with us anyway. Uh, Bates clears. And Man City are going pick, to pick up on the ball. Dybala finds De Bruyne. Oh, God, I never thought De Bruyne would miss from there. But he has. He's hit the bar and it's been cleared. Here we go. Another highlight. Five minutes before the half ends. Bowen. He hasn't got a lot on. Granite Xhaka reverses one to Grizic. Oh, goalkeeper got the tiniest little touch on it and it tipped it onto the post. But we've got a couple of minutes before the half ends. Let's go in at nil-nil, boys. Then we can regroup. I mean, no one's really playing well today, but to be fair, it doesn't look like we've had much possession in the final third. So um, the only players that are likely to play well today are the uh, defence goalkeeper, maybe. Uh, I wouldn't mind goalkeeper having like a man of the match performance and keeping this, uh, keeping them at bay. That would be very nice, but big second 45 minutes coming up here. Highlight, ball crossed in, are we going to deal with it? Oh god, I hate this, we're not, Dybala, Icardi goal. Yeah. Oh, that really upsets me, I don't mind conceding normal goals, but to, to, I mean, there was no reason for Bates to play it short. It's in his instructions, I can understand why he's played it short, but if you've got a brain in that situation... I mean, look, everyone pressing, pressing, pressing. You don't give it to your centre-half who's on the bloody penalty spot surrounded by two players. It's just ridiculous. It really is a bit ridiculous. But there we go. We've, uh, we've fallen foul of our own tactics. Um, and now we need to chase the game a little bit. So I'm going to leave it how it is on counter just because I don't want to open up too much too early. And um, we'll probably look to make a change before anything else. Right, half hour gone. We're going to make a change. And um, Bowen made that mistake. He's coming off. Xhaka is going to go sit back there. 
Chrissy Chalk comes on to replace Bowen in the middle of the park. Um, I really want to make a change out wide, but I mean, who do you bring on? Tedeschi is standout, our best player there, but he we did buy him from Man City. So maybe it's just uh, back at his old haunt and he's, he's not performing too well. So we'll make that double change for now. See if we get anything in the next sort of 10, 15 minutes and then we're going to start changing up to control attack and something like that maybe. Unless this goes in, then we just shut up shop and try and concede no more. Right, Trezeguet brings it away. Grizic, what can he do? Can he find the runner of De Groot? He can. He's beaten his man and that's a great finish. 1-1. One, one. Come on. I didn't see any other subs or anything being involved in that move, so I don't think there's any any change as such. I mean, you could argue Trezeguet, that little ball out there, but um, no, that's nice. Bit of an awkward ball for De Groot. He's done ever so well. I thought we were going to get a penalty there, and he's just put the goalkeeper on his ass. He looked like he was going to go across goal, changed his mind and went near post. Classy little finish. All right, we're going to give him an encourage. Because a draw here would be a, a, a cracking result. Go on, William. Chalk. Trezeguet. Back to the fullback, William. He's not got many options. Chalk gets it, though. Gives it to Xhaka. Finds Grizic. Can he find a Groot? He can. Touch finished. <sighs> got a terrible habit of finishing the hard ones and squandering the easier ones. But Grizic with the corner now, swings it in, headed clear. And that's the end of the highlight. We go 77 minutes. Will this be our highlight? Someone make a run for him. Chrissy Chalk. Lovely ball to Trezeguet. Can he find the cross? Oh, he cuts back on himself. That seemed a bit unnecessary. Gomez is free. And he's just put one in the back of the net. I can't believe it. Come on, Gomez. Mr. Dependable, he was with us at Plymouth, where we had him on loan for a couple of seasons. And we got the Southampton job and, and he looked like a decent player still. So we, we took him with us and uh, he scored some really big goals for us. He's only two and a half star current rate and I think he can only get to three and a half, it says. But, um, oh, I've missed the boat there because I was talking. I would like to have gone defensive and structured. Kickoff highlight, our oh, man City going to come straight back at us and really demoralise us. Well up, Grizic. Well, not so well up, Gomez. Sterling, you are the worst player in football history. Moreno, William, heads clear. Diawara, Akadi, Moreno, Bates. It looked like it was going wide, but Bates wasn't to know that. Good save. Right, as soon as this highlight stops... Oh, well in, Grizic. Go on, De Groot, and we go. Trezeguet, go on. That's it, I don't mind you taking it out there. It's not a problem. Get the cross in, though. De Groot. Oh, keeper comes and collects. Right, now we're going to go defensive, structured. And we're going to tell them to tighten up. We've got one more sub to make. This will be a massive, massive result, this will. I'm not counting my chickens, though. Definitely not. Trying to see who we should maybe bring on. Man City got a corner. Tiss ran, headed clear. Oh, Sterling, don't let him score. That's excellent, Camargo. Go on. Trezeguet. It's four against three here. Four against four. Get it in. Gomez. Gomez has only gone and sealed the win for us. What an outstanding display for long times in this game. We didn't look like we were going to get anything out of it. But City, tired legs, game two days ago, really took its toll. Trezeguet's come on and he's done a really good job, to be fair. And Gomez at the far post on his own. Man City, head in hands, unlucky. Three points to Southampton. This is just huge. Let's waste a little bit of time with a substitution at the last minute there. Let's get Tiss around off for Paul Bunn. Why not? Why not? I'm the manager. I'll do what I want. One minute left. There we go. Blow up referee. It doesn't need to go 3-2, does it? Blow up, then. Oh, God. I think that Camargo has been an absolute revelation. And for a, a Premier League signing... 
was relatively cheap. I've got a feeling that um, we're going to be fielding some bids for him in the summer. But there you go, full time. What a result. What a result. Um, did we deserve it? Probably not. But they kept pushing and pushing. And, and we, we caught them on the counter a few times, um, which is exactly how we're, we're set up to, to play. So absolutely brilliant. I can't believe we've got two out of two wins in that episode, especially how we have been playing as well. But there you go. There's that done. Let's have a little look where that leaves us in the uh, Man City. Have obviously, I think they won the uh, Carabao Cup. So they've already got themselves a European place. That pushes us three points clear of Watford. They're real, they're they're playing well. We I think we we lost against them. Where is it? Yeah, we did two 0 away from home. We've got them on the last two games of the season, so they will be the big fixture at the end of the season. Will be against Watford at home, which should be a cracker. But if you look here, we've closed the gap up now, so that if Man City slip up, we can actually go ahead of them and go into the uh, Champions League places, which would be unbelievable. Right, so in terms of where we're going to come back, um, I'd like to bring you back for the Man United game, but I'm not going to because we want to get this this season done. So if we if we beat United by some miracle at Old Trafford in the quarterfinal, uh, I'll bring you the semi-final uh, for sure. But if we bow out of that, which I imagine we probably will, we'll bring you the last two games of the season, Watford and Leicester, and we'll see. You never know, we may be in a hunt for Champions League places. But that's the uh, that that's all for today. So just praise Gomez here. Superb in front of goal. I completely agree. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like the video, drop it a like. If you're new, subscribe, and I'll give you daily football manager content. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And we'll catch you in episode 43.